Hey guys, it's Courtney from Click It Up A Notch and I just wanted to take some time today to show you how to correct your white balance in Lightroom. Um, we've had a couple of posts about light balance, one by Lori using um, the Kelvins for your custom white balance and then also I did one a while ago about using gray cards for custom white balance. So there's a lot of things you can do in camera to correct your white balance um, which helps a lot but sometimes you still have to tweak it a little bit in um, post-processing. So I have a couple of pictures I want to show you. The way I do it is I take this little eyedropper right here and I go onto my picture. <clears throat> you want to find something that is black, white, or neutral gray. And these will help you get a correct white balance. And another thing you want to look for is the numbers. I can't point to them. <laughs> the numbers, your RGB. You want them to be as close as possible um, so that you know that you, those are all neutraled out, like the red, the green, and the blue, RGB. So right now they're at 0 .0, 0 .3, 0 .3, and 0 .4. That is pretty close. And if you look in the top left-hand corner over here, it will give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, so you can see it's too blue, it's too green. I could go on the gray right here, um, or I can go on the black. Either way, I just want to move it around until I find something where the numbers are close and it looks pretty good to me. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to adjust it. <clears throat> so now my white balance is correct. It still looks a little warm to me. Um, so I might come over here and bring down the yellows just a little. You can mess with it right here in the temperature and tent. Um, I always start with the eyedropper and get as close as I can. Um, you can also go here on the gray. Actually, that looks a little bit better to me. So if you want to see a before and after, not a huge difference, but my skin tones don't look as warm. The wall is a little bit more true to color. So that's how I would do it for this image. I go on the gray or the black, and then from there I would go ahead and edit this picture. I always correct my white balance first because anything else you're going to do, it might look funny if your white balance is not correct. So just to show you a couple more images, here's the one for my birth photography one. You guys all said such nice things about my white balance, but really a lot of it had to do with correcting it. Um, all of these were set with my Calvins. Um, so on her dress, or her hospital gown right here, is some white. There's some right here too. Also there's some dark um, black speck here in the nurse's hair. So I would just pick an area of the white that looks pretty good to me and then it just kind of lightened it up. So again, here's a before and after. The white balance looks a little bit better. And then from there, I would continue on to edit it. And here's another one. Take the eyedropper. Again, find something white, black, or neutral. Her shirt is black. Um, my comforter is white. And his shirt is navy. So see if you see in that top um, left-hand corner, it's a little yellower. So I'm going to probably go down here to the white. Again, you're looking at those numbers. My numbers are 93.9, 94, 94. So that's pretty close. So click that. That um, warms it up a little. Again, it's not a huge difference because I do a lot of my correction in camera. Um, but it is enough that I like the way it looks. And again, I would go on to edit it from here. Here's one that um, I took at night. So the lighting is terrible because I used a hall light. So it has this awful yellowish, greenish cast um, on my daughter who fell asleep in a green chair. So again, I take the eyedropper, find something um, white or neutral. So my numbers right here are 64.9, 60.9, and 41.5. So those aren't very close. So let's go down here in the blacks, and you can see in the previews these are not any better at all. Um, so I think I'll stick with this up here, and that looks pretty good to me actually. Look at her skin tones of her knees, um, and then I would continue to edit on from there. So again, before and after, and that is just a click of a button. Um, I use the eyedropper 100% of the time. It's just easier for me. If you don't want to use that, there is an option right here for a custom. If you shoot in RAW, you can, um, let me get this back to the original. 
If you shoot in RAW, you have all of these options. If you shoot in JPEG, I think it, sh it gives you just a couple options. So you can say adjust this auto. So that's how it thinks it should be adjusted. It's way too warm for me. Then you could t pick what kind of lighting it was to try and adjust it. Again, I don't think that looks good. Undo those. Um, let's see. Fluorescent. <laughs> Yikes. So you could, if you don't have a neutral area, gray, black, or white, you could definitely try one of these. Um, but honestly, the best I have found is just using that um, eyedropper, finding something as close to a neutral and those numbers as possible. And then if you need to, just adjusting the temperature here just a little bit. But the key to white balance is you want skin tones to look really good. So let me know if you have any questions.